Welcome, Quentin. Welcome, everybody. Paul here at Music Villa, Bozeman, Montana. And Quentin King is playing a... Rain song. Rain song. Yeah. So it doesn't look like a rain song, does it? It doesn't. I was like, wait a second, what is this? Is this a... Uh, and then, uh, yeah. you know, obviously, eventually my eyes drifted up towards the headstock. Yep. And, and then if you once you get close, you can look in the back and you can recognize that very right. distinctive carbon fiber kind of... carbon kinda, fiber, yeah. But uh, I was confused because I was like, wait a second, is this... Uh, what's going on the top? Well, and I'll tell you what's going on at the top. Yes, please. So what's cool about this is, you know, and especially like in our climate here, it's just... It's, it's brutal. It's brutal on instruments. Uh, okay, yeah. so you've got wood that dries out. They crack. Even like in one day, the We've got 100 changes. degree summers yeah. and minus 30 degree winters sometimes. Yeah. And our typical humidity fluctuates between, what, 15 to 20, yeah. maybe 25 percent, which mine's, is Mine's well been at 30 low. in the house lately yeah. a lot. But we need guitars to be at about 45 percent humidity. That's, I guess that's the recommended. You know? yeah, and so. if you leave this thing in the, in the house for months on end or if you take it camping or whatever, mm -hmm. they do not fluctuate. Um, yeah, this thing is yeah. kind of like uh, it's... It's just set. Set yeah. it. It's what, what's it's, that uh, like that food thing? Like set it and forget it. Kind totally. Of thing? Yeah. That's it. Just play and this thing. Put some uh, for a lazy coated strings like on me, it, and you're, yeah. you're, you don't no, have to do anything. You know, for me, I like. Uh, I have been. I've got you know my nice HD twenty eight. I've yeah. got that s wonderful CEO seven. Yeah. Uh, and but I don't really have that guitar that I'm comfortable taking yeah. out yep. into the. Well, even like um, the other night we were out at the campfire. Remember that? Yeah. Even like it's <laughs> like it's like it's not a big deal because you're only out there for a little bit. But I have that D18, and I was like, I brought it out there, but I'm like, it just takes, you know, well, the, the right like weather and all the of a sudden, temperature it, yeah, difference between the front when you're facing that fire and the yeah. backside. Totally, it can actually be pretty significant, yeah. and I, everybody notices that it, just suddenly, you know, the strings are shrinking because yeah. of the temperature change, or they're expanding at yeah. different rates. Everything's moving at a different expansion contraction rate right. and it just really throws things off well, but it's like here, 80 degrees during the day and then at night it, you're at the campfire it gets really yeah. cold and it, yeah. it changes a lot yeah. so what they did here let's talk about the model number yeah. what do you, what do you yeah. why don't you read that off for yeah me? you don't have this memorized <laughs> i Paul? don't okay this is the uh all right let me make sure i got this this correct it's the v dot dr one one zero zero n i think that's a two yep all right so easy to remember the v totally. dot dr eleven uh, hundred n two Okay, so let's break that down. <laughs> I know the DR, Dreadnought. Okay, dreadnought, so D okay. is Dreadnought. V, I think, is the series. Okay. V, okay. The N2 is the neck profile. Neck profile, and, uh, gotcha. And what does the 1100 stand for? I don't know. Or it could be 11, I don't know. But let me tell you about the guitar. Yeah, please. Carbon fiber. But mm -hmm. what's cool, the top is a thin layer of spruce somehow fused together. Yeah, because I... So, it is like one piece, but it's kind of fused together. So that actually is spruce. When you look in, you have to look at a really tight angle just to under, you know, trying to catch the edge of the sound hole. And you can see that there is a carbon fiber top and yeah. that the wood is actually kind of yep. sitting right on top of that carbon fiber. Yeah. And somehow uh, it is layer. like completely fused into one piece or something. Mm -hmm. I was reading about it. Mm -hmm. It sounds cool, but it looks cool because it looks like a like a good yeah. old-fashioned dreadnought. Yeah, you know, and it, I mean, it plays yeah. it, it plays really well. I mean, yeah. the, I don't know if it's because the strings might be a slightly lighter gauge, like maybe 11s instead of 12s. I don't know. It should be 12s. Uh, yeah, because it, it just plays really yeah. good. So, for example, we just did the, uh, the Authentic, yep. which is a monster guitar and, uh, you know, Something that I would love to have hang on my wall, but yep. to be honest, you know, uh, playing it, it, you could feel some. It was a little tight. Yep. Right? It would need to uh, be played, and I'm sure it'll open up and be uh, more pliable over time. Mm -hmm. But this, right off the, yeah, right off the shelf, it's now you're not getting that huge sound, right? Right. Uh, that you get with like a big Martin box or something. Yeah. But you get a very. But well, you do get dreadnought. Yeah. You get you get some depth. Without the risk of everything going haywire when you move yep. in and out of your car or to the campfire and back or whatnot, yep. so this very cool. I've been I've been thinking about rain songs for a little while. It uh, makes sense in 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 this climate. As my as my camping outdoor beach or yeah. wherever it is when you want to play outside. Totally. And you can just leave it in the case. And if it if you happen to this has never happened to me, but if you got intoxicated and left your <laughs> instrument unprotected in the elements all night and ran over it. Well, not that far, but, but if I've you seen maybe, that a few times. Maybe if you set it down and you happen to yeah. uh, prematurely go to sleep, yeah, 
then, yeah. then yeah. you don't have to wake up just terrified right. that you know it's going to look like a an atlas of cracks. There's many reasons the while camping that you would need this guitar. So yeah, Quentin, thank you. We'll let you uh, do your review of you it, bet. and uh, you bet. we'll go on to the next one. So yeah, thanks thank everyone you. for watching.